What's going on guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the solo public lobby. This is an updated guide that works for all consoles and PC, including the new gen consoles, okay? So as you guys can see, I'm going to start with the PS5 and what you want to do is, as soon as you are in GTA 5 Online, you want to open up the menu, you want to go to the settings, and you want to go to network, go to settings, set up your internet connection, okay? Now you want to select your connection press options, go to advanced settings, and over here you wanna go down to MTU, change it to manual, and you wanna set it to 750, okay? So set it to 750. That's the value that I recommend you guys to do. Once you do that, it will connect back to the internet, and you wanna go back to the game, you should be getting an error message, that's okay. Now you wanna go to the main menu. Once you guys are in the main menu, all you want to do is go ahead and join free mode, okay? So this is if you are on PS5. On PS4, it's just the same thing. You want to change the MTU to 750 or 850, and then you want to load up back to GTA 5 Online. Now, once you guys load back, it might take a lot more time, but eventually, once you guys load, you'll be in a solo public session, okay? So this is currently on PS5. The loading takes a bit longer because you changed the internet settings, but once you guys load in, you'll be in a solo public session, okay? As you guys can see, this is on PlayStation 5, and from here, you guys can invite your friends, you can try to play with other players as well, and if you cannot get it with 750 for some reason, you can try 8 100, you can try 850, you can try 900 as well. So just try and see which number works. Okay, now to the PC tutorial. I'm currently on my PC and I have seven players in this lobby. Now I'm going to do Alt Tab, open the task manager, go to performance, open up the resource monitor on the bottom. Okay, open the resource monitor, find the GTA 5 process and click right click and suspend okay and once it is suspended make sure it says the state is suspended wait for about 10 to 15 seconds and once 10 to 15 seconds have passed you can go ahead and right click GTA 5 again and resume the process okay so resume uh, just confirm and do alt tab go back to the game and once you guys go back to the game you'll notice that everyone le left the session and you are now alone that is because we froze the game and uh, we froze the game and actually it kicked everyone out because the game was frozen for 10 to 15 seconds okay so that's the trick that's pretty much it for pc if you have any doubts just comment down below now onto the xbox uh, just open up the menu go to the settings if you are on xbox then go to uh, account privacy and online safety then click xbox privacy as you see right here go down to view details and customize and then select communication and multiplayer and once you guys see this option just make sure you set it to block so it will prevent you to join multiplayer. Now go back to GTA and join a public session. You should pop up with this message telling you that you can't do this and it will ask you to enter your password so that you can change the settings. So once you guys can change this, make sure to allow it back again. So once you guys have allowed it, it should load you into the public session and you will be alone. So I cannot actually show you the gameplay on Xbox because I don't own one, but it's pretty simple. You just block that setting, go back to GTA 5, load it to a public session. Once you guys load to the session, it will tell you to enter your password and allow it. Once you guys allow it, it should be in a solo public session, okay? So I hope I helped you out, guys. Happy farming. And I'm out for this one. Peace. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you really liked the video. Check my channel for other videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the ring bell notification. And see you in the next video.